like me i am sure you also would be wondering what's happening to the azure you know uh, the sql pool uh, the sql dedicated sql pool that was available in synapse and with fabric what's going to happen so i tried to connect the sql endpoint of the lake house uh, or the data warehouse and see what's going underneath so i use sql server management studio connected to the sql endpoint and if you see the uh, you know the server name it has data warehouse dot pbi dedicated dot windows dot net and the sql server version if i do the select at at version i am getting microsoft azure sql data warehouse so if you remember the azure sql data warehouse the old version which became the sql pool and then i am sure that's the same SQL pool is being used uh, in the lake house, uh, the SQL endpoint and the data warehouse. Uh, so hindsight, um, what I think is they are using the same SQL pool. So I tried to uh, do a few queries to see what I can fetch. So I have connected to the endpoints and you can see the both the lake house and the data warehouse appear as databases in the same endpoint. So both are the same and then I did a select version for the server name and the server property for the engine edition. You can see it's a SQL data warehouse and the engine version is 11. I went ahead and checked in the official documentation and it says 6 or 11 is for Azure Synapse which is nothing but this dedicated you know sql pool or the sql pool uh, as we know it so that's that that's you know my curiosity i just wanted to make sure that i'm thinking in the right direction so we are still using azure uh, sql pool but we don't know it uh, it's just available as a data warehouse or the sql endpoint for lakehouse if you like this kind of content do subscribe and do support this channel thank you